Hello and good evening, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar session brought to you by Siksha.com uh, Siksha and Indiana University, Purdue University, Indianapolis, USA. Student, this is an informative session about the MS Computer and Engineering programs that are being offered by the university to all international students. Before we move further, I would like to introduce our presenter from the university. So we have with us Ms. Priya Kurle. She's the India Recruitment Manager at the university. Thank you, Priya, for joining us today. And uh, soon for all of you, if you have questions, I will request you to please post your questions in the question section. We will take all the questions at the end of the session. If you wish to take questions directly, I will request you to please click on the raise hand tab. Siksha will unmute you and you can ask your questions directly to Priya. I will now request Priya to please start with the session. Thank you. Hi, good evening, everybody. I'm Dr. Priya Kurni. I'm a professional psychologist with 12 years of experience into overseas education, and I am the country representative for IUPUI. I hope you all could see my screen. So Indiana University, Purdue University is one of its kind, wherein two prestigious US institutions thought of coming together and form a campus in the heart of the capital city of the state of Indiana, which is at Indianapolis. We are right at the downtown. Purdue University is in the north of the state of Indiana at West Lafayette. And Indiana University is in the south of the state of Indiana, that is at Bloomington. So both the universities thought to have a campus into a metropolitan city where a student can get hands-on practical experience right from their first year. They don't have to wait for internships till their third year. And second thing is they get the same degree what they get on campus at the Purdue West Lafayette or at the Indiana University Bloomington campus. Indiana University is US second largest medical school and Purdue University is among the top ranking university which offers the STEM and engineering program. So you could see the degree which has been offered, which is just the same degree which you get on each individual university campus. Indiana University and Purdue University both are among the top Big Ten University of US. It's a federal funded government university, urban public research university. We are spread on 509 acres of land, though we are in the downtown, but still it's the biggest university, and we completed 53 years this year. So why Indiana University, Indianapolis campus? So we are the 16th largest city in US and the third most affordable city. So you don't have to spend too much onto your living expense. It's much more affordable. Second plus point is on the close proximity of your campus, you can do part-time work. You can also find internships very easily. We have 550 plus programs, which includes undergraduate, master's, PhD, postdoctoral certificate programs. You can select any one specialization out of this. We are an urban public research university. What does this mean? We have state of art infrastructure, latest technology, which the traditional universities don't have in their campuses. We have 17 academic schools and all these 550 programs are spread across the 17 academic schools. We ranked among the best Midwestern university for the last 18 consecutive years. And among all the US institution, we are the only university along with another university which offers bachelors in neuroscience. So we ranked second as for the impact ranking in US and 30 in the world. What does this mean is that our research and our teaching has an impact on the industry and on the world. There are various rankings which we have. Out of that, I have picked few. So we are the only university that offers bachelors in motorsports engineering in the entire nation. We rank second 
in the US and 28th globally for the sustainability ranking as per Times Higher Education. We are the only university in the entire world which offers philanthropy program. In the entire state of Indiana, we are the only dentistry school. 10 time winner of Higher Education Excellence in Diversity Award from Insight into Diversity. We are highly diversified university and we rank 42nd for most innovative school in US. Every year we get around 30,000 students. Out of that, 2,000 students are international students across 145 countries. Our student is to faculty class size ratio is 17 is to one or 18 is to one. That means 17 students to one faculty. Personalized attention is given to all these students. Right from the first year, students are put into the project work so that they get hands-on practical training on whatever they are pursuing. IUPUR, like we every year, we get around 535 to 550 million dollars research grant. So we spend that much on research. Our campus has 100 plus research centers, including 11 signature research centers. We get around like 2000 research grants each year. Our faculties, like uh, we have overall around 3,800 plus faculties across the 17 schools. 95% of our faculties are professional with postdoctoral degrees. And we have diversified faculties from all the nations and origin. So our School of Engineering and Technology offers degree from Purdue University. It is one of the prestigious degree what you get. With this degree, if you go in the job market, you have higher weightage and chances of getting a better pay package and getting a job easily. So in engineering, we have computer engineering, and we have mechanical engineering, motorsports engineering, electrical engineering, you can select any one out of that. School of Computing and Informatics. We are the first university to have this informatics program started in US and after us, various universities started the informatics program. School of Informatics usually focus on implementation of what is existing into the software industry. That means the apps and everything, the tools are developed. You just have to implement that. Most of the students, those who come for this program are not from the computer science background and they get into like, you know, the hands-on implementation side training and with a better job prospect. 100% placements we have for all of our programs. Mostly like it's just like 100% job guarantee you could say in this kind of programs. School of Science offers a lot of science programs including computer science, cyber security, data science, so any program you could select. Apart from that, we do have different other programs uh, like biochemistry, biology, psychology, forensic science. You can select out of those range. We give hands-on practical training and the degree which is awarded for all these programs are from Purdue University. All these programs comes under STEM program. That means you get three years of OPT after completion of your program. So no matter you do a four years of undergrad degree or two years of master's degree, after completion of your program, you get three years of optional practical training, which is post-study work permit to stay back and work in US. So the return on investment on, on, on your time and whatever money, we uh, usually are like yearly expense goes around $34,000 to $39,000 to show on the I-20, but usually it is much more less. What you get in return is like tuition, remission, fellowship, assistantship, research assistantship, graduate assistantship, teaching assistantship for most of our programs. Because we are a research university, faculties put you 
into a project for and a research for, and you have been paid on an hourly basis. Most of the times it covers your tuition fee. When it comes to a PhD or a postdoctoral program, usually the entire program is funded. You don't just cover your tuition fee, but even your living expense and your insurance are covered from those research assistantship and teaching assistantship. So the research areas which we focus right now with the shortage of time, I will just show you and give the highlight of the research area focus in the area of computer science and computer engineering and school of informatics, what kind of research project we do and the research areas. Uh, like intelligent system, data mining, machine learning, artificial intelligence, software engineering and distributed system, HPC testing, high assurance system, visualization and graphic in that we cover machine vision, image processing, multimedia, networks and security. We Our research focused is on WSN, secure communication, trust, and some kind of examples of sponsored projects which we got is one out of it is a quantitative approach of understanding the distribution and diversity of key water formed minerals on Mars that is sponsored through NASA and funded through NASA. And second one is real-time algorithm and software system of heterogeneous data-driven policy of social harm, which has been sponsored and awarded by NSF. These are two out of 500 research projects which we have got for the School of Informatics, for the School of Science, and for the School of Engineering. There are many such research work going on. Uh, one of our hot courses is human-computer interaction. No matter you're not from the IT background or a computer science background, still you can and go for this program where everything is just implementation. You don't have to create a software. You don't have to design a tool. Everything is there. You just have to implement that. People coming for this program are like doctors, uh, people from pharmacy background, with engineering IT background, with background in design, with background in social science, humanities. All these people take this program, it's a two years program, and after completion of program, they have been placed in reputed industries like Amazon, Google, Microsoft, Yahoo, MasterCard, like this are a few examples where our students are successfully placed and the success ratio is 100%. You can imagine what kind of hands-on practical training we all give you and the way how we place you and our support service. Uh, usually, uh, like we will be having a separate session for human computer interaction, but like something which we consider into the program is human factors, engineering science, design, information system, psychology, every machine, whenever it's been designed, there is always a psychology been put behind that for a user friendly use. Now, cognitive science and social science. Now the impactful research with our award-winning faculties like you know user interface for older adults, interaction designs for social justice, IoT designs and innovation, social computing and family health, infoviz and visual analytics, human AI interaction, embodied, embodied interaction, accessibility for the blind. These are few of the areas where we have really got success. Some successful stories are in 2021 during pandemic, our student participated in the AT&T 5G sports hackathon. And the four winners, out of this four winners, the three winner group were from a school of informatics. And this were all first year students. They got $50,000 award, which covered the tuition fee completely for the entire program. So you can see like what kind of exposure we give to our students right from their first year. The kind of internships, because we are located in downtown Indianapolis where all the industries are at the close proximity, moreover 16 Tech, which is the second Silicon Valley of US, is been placed in Indianapolis. So student gets hands-on practical training in the industry, whatever they are learning, they implement that actually and see whether it works or not. 
And these are few of the industries which I have mentioned here, like humans, Anthem, IU Health, Lily, Infosys, Salesforce, Roche. Now the placement ratio due to pandemic, it's around 94%, but all our STEM students, it's a 100% placement ratio for them. Uh, minimum salary for a Purdue engineering, for a Purdue computer science program, or Indiana University informatics program, it's around 60 to 64,000 minimum. Maximum is around 95,000 to $100,000 per year. Now the sports are like, we are an athletic university. So we have 500 plus organization, plus our international student service uh, support is really, really good. Uh, anything you have in terms of counseling, personal assistance, resume building, or your profile building, we are always there to help you out. Now, like we have 500 plus student organization recognized one of the famous one in Indiana, which is conducted at our place, Jaga Palosa, international festivals, international fashion show. You can participate into any of this uh, traditional festivals and organization when you are staying on campus. And we are a very happening campus and the degrees which have been awarded from this prestigious university helps you to land up and get a better job prospect. So I'm open for question if any. Thank you for, for being up to school. Thank you so much Priya for the wonderful presentation. And yes, we are ready to take questions. Uh, meanwhile, students, if you wish to ask questions directly, please click on the raise hand tab. I will unmute you and you can ask your questions directly to Priya. Uh, I'll start with a few questions from the chat and then we'll move to questions from the uh, raise hand category. So uh, Priya, uh, there are students uh, who are actually asking for MS electrical engineering program that what would be the criteria for that particular program and how they can apply for that program at the university. So we need three GPA overall into the bachelor's degree. So from first year till fourth year, we calculate your overall GPA. We have international course evaluated within our campus. So we don't need West evaluation and all. You just have to submit your online application. If you have three GPA overall in your bachelor's degree, you have been admitted for the program and the degree would be awarded by Purdue University. It's a two years program and the tuition fee would be around $24,600 a year. We just need ILTS, TOEFL or Pearson PT as an English test. GRE is still optional, but if you give GRE, it's well and good. Yes, anyone okay. else? Yeah. Okay, moving to the next uh, question. This has been asked by Hetal Gala. And mm -hmm. the student has asked, what is the duration of a STEM program at the university? And so she's the, asking for a business analytic pro, uh, analytics program. Is it a STEM program? Master's, uh, sorry. Hethel, uh, the master's program is of two years. And if you want a STEM program, you have to join our School of Informatics, which has data analytics program with specialization. So you can be a business analyst after joining this program. Okay. So I'll take you yeah. two years program and the tuition fee would be around $20,400 a year. Okay. Uh, next question is from Path, and student has asked that how much time do uh, uh, does the university take to give I twenty? It takes four to five weeks uh, turnaround time to give you admission decision. You get an offer letter. After that, you have to submit your financial document and within one or two weeks, you get your I-20. So we, like among very few universities, we don't need your financial statement when you apply. We give you admit letter, the offer letter, okay? 
if you are applying for a loan it becomes very easy at that time you show your offer letter you get your finance done your loan issued and then you submit that to us so that we release your i20 if you don't have any financial problem then like on the day one of your application you upload your financial document you will get i20 within five weeks Okay. We accept three years bachelor's degree also, just to mention, even a BSc student or a BCom student can apply to us. Okay, I'll now take few live questions. So the first student I am going to unmute is Varun Talla. Varun, please unmute yourself and ask your question. Good evening, ma'am. Uh, Ma'am, uh, basically my undergrad is from mechanical engineering, but uh, whereas now I'm looking for a master's in computer science, I'm having a one and a half year of experience uh, in uh, Tata Consultancy Services uh, mm -hmm. under a developing uh, software developer as a software developer. Uh, can I get, uh, do you have chances to get an admission uh, to this university? Okay, so what is your intention? You want uh, like hardware and a software component together or just the software side? I'm looking for only a software side. I'm looking okay. for pure computer science, masters in pure computer science. Pure computer science. So you have to apply to a school of science, masters in computer science. Yes, with this experience, you would be admitted for the program for MSCS. It's a two years program. And you okay. can opt for certain specialization if you're looking out like data science or like, you know, informatics or anything into that. Yeah, the, the information is fine. Thank you. And uh, is this university accepting Duolingo score? Uh, for masters, we don't, but for undergrad, we do. So in case if you have appeared for Duolingo, it's better you go for an IELTS uh, so that we admit you uh, because you will get a degree from Purdue University. You can imagine like, you know, how good it would be on your profile. Yeah, ma'am, I got it. Thank you, ma'am. The information is perfect. Thank you so much, Varun, for your question. Moving to next student, I'm going to unmute Amina Khatun Manika. Amina, please unmute yourself and ask your question. Hello, madam. Uh, I have a question. Uh, I completed my BSc degree in chemistry. So I want to uh, just admit in your university, uh, computer science, but I just uh, uh, noticed your lecture. It is a uh, uh, possibility to get admitted in science faculty also. And uh, you mentioned some scholarship uh, are also available, TA or something. I have to know, uh, is there any possibility to uh, get any scholarship uh, uh, from my background? And uh, my ECGBA is 3.32 in undergrad. Uh, and I also uh, just uh, want to something. Is there any uh, possibility to enroll uh, by dueling we score in uh, so biochemistry or chemistry in MS? We do have a bachelor's in a biochemistry, just uh, sorry, master's in biochemistry, master's in chemistry, master's in forensic science. With your this background, it would be really a good thing. Like, you know, if you go for that, there are huge job prospects. Apart from that, if you're looking out for something into computer science, then I will suggest you to join School of Informatics in human computer interaction program that would be best for you then you have all the industries wide range open when it comes to scholarship minimum is four thousand dollars maximum depends on your profile and so like you know that i cannot commit it right now faculty has to look at your profile but certainly with your gpa you will get 100 percent admission in the university no matter any program you apply for out of the program which i told you uh, we need toefl or ilts or pearson pt for master's program we are not accepting dolingo and the degree which would be awarded to you would be from Purdue University if you select courses like biochemistry, chemistry, or forensic science. 
in case if you select a subject which is human computer interaction or data science which is from the school of informatics you will get degree from indiana university it would be a two years program with hands-on practical training right from your first semester even if you get a little lesser scholarship amount doesn't matter you would be put into a project work wherein students really get paid well on hourly basis and like you know your uh, if you go for a thesis kind of program your paper publication is done which is an additional advantage ma'am i have some question also please uh, kindly get some time uh, ma'am uh, i want to know something more um if i want to admit a uh, fall 22 what should i do now i have dueling with score and also prepare i uh, get prepared for the ielts exam so what will the uh, perfect time to enroll 22 and uh, which will be better uh, to uh, sit for the ielts what, yeah. uh, ma'am can i admit yeah you can still apply apply before 15th of march of 2022 so that you are very much on time you receive i20 on time and you can apply like you know for your visa so apply before 15th of march no matter you don't have an ielts right now but upload all your documents along with your dolingo and in the remark space you mentioned that you're going to appear for ielts so by the time the faculty review your entire documents your IELTS course would be out and it would be sent directly from IDP to our university and we can release your decision immediately. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, Amena. I'll move to next student now and I'm going to unmute uh, Nikhil Kathirvel. Nikhil, please unmute yourself and ask your question. Good evening, ma'am. Hi, good ma evening. Ma'am, for IL, for USA, IELTS is enough or even GR is also required, ma'am, for our universities. For which program? For CSIT, ma'am, for MS. We don't need GR in that case. During pandemic, we are giving optional. So even if you don't have, it's fine. Only IELTS is fine with us. Ma'am, uh, whether even I, I'm now pursuing BE ECE, ma'am, so even I after two years also I can apply for IELTS and I can join your universities or it may now I should apply it ma'am. You are in which year right now? Third year ma'am. Third year. So like once you appear for your fourth year like into your final semester at that time you appear for IELTS so that the score remains the recent score. The uh, like certificate the report is valid for two years but it's better when you're in your eighth semester at that time you appear for IELTS. Ma'am, what is the CGPA ma'am? The range of CGPA for your university? At least 7.5 CGPA overall. Okay ma'am. Thank you ma'am. Thank you. Thank you Nikhil. Moving to next student, I am going to unmute Parth Patel. Parth, please unmute yourself and ask your question. Hello. Hi, Park. Uh, actually, ma'am, I am applying. I am applying to MS, MS in computer science. So I just want to know what is the requirement of IELTS. Uh, we need six point five bands overall. Overall six point five, not less than six. Uh, in individual, even if it is five point five, it's fine. But overall, should be six point five. Because I have appeared for IELTS, overall it's overall it is six six point five in speaking, and the rest are five point five. Ah, uh, uh, can you reappear again? Yes, I will uh, try. For ESL program, we can put you into ESL, but it's a like you know six month program, and it's very expensive. And then again, getting yes, a yes, visa yes. would be a difficult. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Then, then what about the other course which which is suitable with this IELTS score? Is there any other IT related course? Uh, with this IELTS, we cannot admit you into any master's program. Okay. Any master's needs six point five. We are a federal funded university. There are certain norms which we have. 
Okay, and ma'am, what about the spouse? We can carry spouse. Yeah, your spouse can come on a dependent visa, but your spouse cannot work on it. But yeah, you can yeah. bring your spouse. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, Path. I'll move on to the next student now. I'm going to unmute Muskan Khan. Muskan, please unmute yourself and ask your question. Yes, sir. So, hey, hi, Brianna. How are you? I am good. Yeah. So, uh, I'll just give a brief background about myself. So, uh, I have a PR5 TOEFL. Uh, my score is 97. Uh, nothing is below 20. And uh, I have a total GPA of 3.52, and I want to appear for, uh, I mean, I, I want to enroll for MS in computer science program at your university. So uh, what are my chances of uh, getting admission? Uh, for 2022 intake, if you want to go for fall, I'll suggest you apply before 15th of March. You have huge mm -hmm. chances of admission. Plus, if possible, we will also try to put some scholarships, uh, though, like, you know, the scholarship deadline has gone, but your profile seems to be good and we will try our level best to give a scholarship. And like, we'll see if we could enroll you into a project work. Okay. And how about uh, RATAs and GAs, ma'am? I mean, how, how do we uh, get an opportunity? Is it like we approach to uh, the professors by ourselves, or is there any standard process? So, like once you have been admitted, uh, like once you join on campus, uh, the, our admission enrollment team you have to inform there, mm -hmm. and then your department, uh, the faculty, and they will put you into the programs. Okay. So during and you have to see. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, during your enrollment, you have to mention that, and then we do the needful for you. Okay, and uh, last question, ma'am. Uh, so, uh, about the uh, degree, uh, will we be getting it from Purdue University or from Indiana University? From Purdue University. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you so much, Muskan. Uh, moving to next student, I'm going to unmute. Hethil Gala. Hethil, please unmute yourself and ask your question. Yeah. Uh, hello. Uh, I'm a computer engineering graduate and I have close to five years of work experience. Currently, I'm working as an associate manager of business analytics. I asked you about MS in business analytics, but you already mentioned you don't have one, but you have something uh, called master's in data analytics, right? So I would be interested to apply, but uh, my GPA is 2.9. Uh, can I still apply? And like, do I have fair chances of getting through? Yeah, so the yeah. first thing is like, we have a master's in business analytics. The program is offered by Indiana University Kelly School of Business. Kelly ranks ninth mm -hmm. in the entire US. It's highly competitive business school. Uh, so you okay. would be admitted there. The only thing is it's not a STEM program, master's in business analytics, okay? But like if okay. any student, comes to us we always tell them to go for a stem program especially when you have a stem background that helps you and widens your job prospect and the number of years of stay back in us uh, and so i will recommend you to join school of informatics in the school uh, like you can apply for masters in data analytics which is like business analytics you will have your job prospect open as a business analyst into any sector irrespective aviation hospitality healthcare any sector uh, but will the lesser than 3 gpa be accepted i have 2.9 but i have 4 5 years of work experience uh, that's what I'm saying. Your profile is strong in terms of work experience. Write a mm -hmm. good statement of purpose, like why we should take you uh, with 2.9. Second thing okay. is into your CV, you highlight all this stuff, like your number of work experience and what you did in that. There are greater chances of you getting in. Uh, Ma'am, could you please share the link if possible? Because I was looking for it on the website. I couldn't find it. Uh, so like on the Google, you can type IUPUI School of Informatics or SOS. No, no, I couldn't find the program that you're talking about. Uh, okay, uh, I'll, what I'll do is right now, I'll just uh, 
mention my email id it's pkurli at the rate iu.edu send an email to me i'll send you the link with all the details once you submit okay. your online application let me know i'll talk to the faculty at that time got it sure thank you so much thank you thank you so much hetal i'll move to next student now i am going to unmute sandeep r sandeep please unmute yourself and ask your question hi ma'am this is sandeep speaking hope you are doing well hi yeah i'm good uh i'm also looking to apply for the grad program ms computer science uh, mm -hmm. can you uh, is there any application fee waiver for this program ma'am i have a gpa of 3.2 out of 4 and i have one year work experience uh, completed my bachelor's in computer science also at uh, at 2021 and looking to apply for the fall uh, fall 2022 okay so first thing is you apply before 15th of march so that you are way on time second thing is we don't have application fee waiver or uh, we are like a really good like prestigious university and we don't have to do marketing or show perks to students to apply to us so when a child apply they are very much sure that they want to join us so we don't have application fee waiver with your gpa you will get 100% admit in the program so don't worry about that uh, that is in uh, master of science uh, computer science right ma'am Science awarded by Purdue University. Okay, this comes under uh, uh, science department or an engineering department. It comes under School of Science. If you want to join okay. School of Engineering, it would be Masters in Computer Engineering. Okay. Uh, can you give me clarity regarding what kind of subjects will be there in computer science and in computer engineering? So, computer engineering has a hardware component. which includes machine learning also in it uh, whereas when it comes to computer science it's more on implementation software preparation tool formation uh, so like engine the hardware component is not that it would be all software related thing but if we want we can choose some kind of electives to uh, embed some uh, hardware subjects over but we have ai artificial intelligence and iot into computer science program which covers everything like you know even using sensors and all so like being your bachelor's degree if it is into engineering you know how to like you know fix the sensor so you don't have to learn that hardware side you just have to see how it's been used and implemented i also have uh, around one year of work experience so i got placed uh, while completing my bachelor's degree i am working at Tata Motors. Uh, so my chance of getting an admission is good, right, ma'am? Uh, yes, so I can apply now, right? Definitely. If you apply 100%, you would be admitted. Another doubt is that is there a GRE waiver, ma'am? Yes, GRE is optional, so you can apply okay. without. Uh, I have also given my TOEFL test and Duolingo test, ma'am. Unfortunately, in my TOEFL test, I was not able to score profusely because that was the first time without any preparation I wrote my test and I scored a uh, uh, 92 out of 120, ma'am. But in Duolingo, I was able to score better, ma'am. We just need 80 IP. We just need 80 in TOEFL, and you have that, so you're way in. Don't worry. Oh, okay, okay. Because some universities have some criteria like we need hundred for TOEFL, then only we'll get considered the application like that. Yeah. So we are look engineering and all more than communication. It's all about how you understand and how you implement. So it's all the back office kind of stuff. You are not into PR or a public relation for a hundred in TOEFL. We are fine with eighty for the STEM programs. Okay, good to know. Uh, finally, can I get your mail ID, ma'am? Ah uh, yeah, so it's then the chat box, but still like it's p k u r n e at the rate i u dot e d u. You will find all my details on i u p u y Office of International Affairs site. Okay, got it. Thanks for the information. Have a good time. Thank you. Thank you so much, yeah. Sandeep. And students, I have already uh, shared. Uh, Priya's email address in the chat box. I have just shared it again. Uh, if you wish to write down her email address, uh, please note it down from the chat box. 
Moving to next student, I am now going to unmute Jignesh Sharma. Jignesh, please unmute yourself and ask your question. Uh, yeah. Uh, hello, ma'am. Uh, Jignesh here. Hope you are doing well. Uh, ma'am, yeah, I have around total four years of the experience and uh, my CGPA in a graduation is 7.99. Actually, I'm looking for the, you know, I'm, uh, I'm looking for the master in a computer science. So is there any, any benefit I will get uh, in term of scholarship? Uh, yes, so that's what I cannot commit you, but yeah, definitely like the faculties because they give the money out of their department, they will commit on the amount of scholarship minimum is 4000 maximum could be like you know you understand it's like sometimes even a full tuition fee waiver but that completely depends on your profile i will not commit but yeah with your cgpa you will get 100 percent admit for the program uh like uh, usually when you need a scholarship you have to apply way early it's like you know november of the last year to get admitted into this uh, fall in tech but we'll try to see like how much funds we could like give you in the terms of scholarship but even if you don't get that or you get a minimum amount don't worry you you could be placed into a project work you can talk to a student's organization right from your first year like you know you can work on some project and be paid on an early basis which covers some part of your tuition fee sometimes like major part of your tuition fee mm, yes yeah good thank you so much thank you thank you so much Ignesh. moving to next student i'm going to unmute surya Deepti. surya please unmute yourself and ask your question Yeah, hi. I have a really small question. I already applied to a computational data science uh, program for masters at your university. So mm -hmm. I wanted to know what is the duration and cost? And also, do I need to apply separately for uh, scholarships or is it already considered while uh, you're reviewing my application? Thank so you. So when you why you're automatically been considered for scholarship funding graduate assistantship and research assistantship so don't worry about that program would be a two years program tuition fee oh. would be twenty thousand four hundred dollars a year living expense just to show for the i-20 purpose is thirteen thousand one hundred dollars per year but the actual living expense is way down it's just six to seven thousand dollars a year so it's really really affordable sure and my profile i completed my bachelor's in back in 2011 and i've been working since then i have a score of ielts eight and uh, so how is how does it work i just want to know if that would be uh, would not be a minus right the education what, uh what's your gpa uh my gpa is 3.3 .3. great so like you know you are like you will get 100 percent admit into the program don't worry second thing is we are much more flexible in terms of any age group people can join even in 50s and 60s people are joining us for the ms program at executive level so don't worry thank you ma'am that's it from mine thank you thank you so much surya i'll move on to next student now i'm going to unmute ibrahim mohammed ibrahim please unmute yourself and ask your question <laughs> Uh, right. Hi, ma'am. Uh, greetings today. Myself, Mohammed Brian. Uh, I want to know about like uh, masters in applied data science program. Uh, I have a GPA of eight and uh, GRE, GRE score, score of three ten and IELTS overall band of seven. Uh, actually, I have applied to you know a couple of universities and I am getting uh, regrets. Uh, saying that uh, this data science field is like uh, a bit competitive. So what are my uh, chances at IUPUI? And, so like, you apply to IUPUI, since you want to go towards implementation of data science, I'll recommend you, you search for School of Informatics with data yeah. science. You would be 100% admitted for the program. Uh, since we have larger amount of seats, so don't worry about that yes thank you very much thank you thank you so much Ibrahim. i'll move to next student now i'm going to unmute Valeti naveen 
Valeti Naveen, please unmute yourself and ask your question. Uh, hi, ma'am. Good evening. Hi, good evening. I completed my undergraduate in computer science and I have a total score of uh, 95 and GRE Q17. Um, but I have a problem with my CGPA 2.8 out of 4. What are the chances to get admitted in computer science in your university for my profile? What's the GRE score you said once again? Yeah, I have 2.8 out of 4. GRE score. And to, okay, uh, GRE score is 317. Okay, great. So when you write your statement of purpose, mention that and also into your CV, you mention your GRE score so that it's been highlighted. For students, those whose GPA is low, it's been covered and bridged with GRE and you have a reasonable decent GRE score. We need at least 300 if your GPA is low and you have 319, which is more than enough, you would be admitted. Ma'am, like, uh, what, what are the personal, what is the probability? Like, uh, so can I like, expect? Uh, yeah. Uh, so, like, you want to join School of Science or School of Informatics? Like, for the yeah, program? School of Science, Computer Science, Masters computer in Computer Science. science. Okay. And, uh, like, you know, what uh, have you any uh, done any project work in that area? And all you mentioned that into your statement of purpose, which is related to the program okay and uh, that would be more than enough to be admitted and in that the percentage ratio i could say is 98 percent you would be admitted and once you submit your online application just send an email to me i'll do the required follow-up yeah welcome okay, thank you so much thank you thank you so much naveen i'll move to next student now i'm going to unmute Nazibuddin Muhammad. Nazibuddin, please unmute yourself and ask your question. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, so, I am also interested in the Masters in Communication Science program at a university. I have mm -hmm. one question. Uh, do you have uh, any lim uh, like limit on the number of uh, uh, backlogs in the undergraduate? I have five backlogs actually. Uh, what is your GPA? No, irrespective of backlogs. <laughs> um, it is 67 percent. 67. Uh, and which university? Um, uh, <clears throat> Purdue, Purdue University. No, no, I mean to say for your bachelor's degree is in Osmania. Osmania, uh, Hyderabad. Um, yes. Okay. Uh, in that case, like, yeah, it's okay. Like, uh, we do consider at blocks like 55% to be a 3 GP in that case. So, like, you are eligible, but before submitting an online application, just uh, like, you know, on my email ID, submit your scan copies of documents. Let me have a look and then I'll let you know to submit online or not. We don't need, like, we are okay with your backlogs. That should not be a problem. The only thing is the internal GPA conversion I have to check out for your university. Okay. Because India doesn't have a standardized GPA, like, you know, uh, a grading yes. system. For different yeah. universities, Mumbai 60% is not equivalent to 60% of a UP university. So it's like that. Right. Yeah. Thank so just you. send an email to me with all your list of documents and your CV. Let me have a look and see the internal evaluation done. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so yes. much, Nazibuddin. I'll move on to next student now and I'm going to unmute Chinmay Bhagwat. Chinmay, please unmute yourself and ask your question. Hi, um, I have a question regarding uh, intelligence system masters in uh, Indiana University. Mm -hmm. uh, I did my engineering. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. I did my engineering as automation and robotic engineer. Uh, with a uh, uh, GPA and uh, I'm planning for intelligence system. It's kind of a similar field, but mainly on uh, artificial intelligence and uh, those kind of stuffs. But what I did was mainly on uh, uh, embedded system and uh, a little bit of uh, machine learning and computer vision. So <clears throat> uh, I just want to know 
uh, the possibility of getting that uh, course. So like, you know, uh, what you do is like a school of science, the uh, computer science program, MSCS program, you have to select yeah. that. And in that you will get this as a specialization. So you like first two semesters would be in general uh, and like AI, IOT, ML, everything would be like taught into your second year that is into your third and fourth year. Okay, uh, but I heard that there is one uh, uh, different field called uh, intelligent systems, MS in intelligent system. Is the system. Like is that we don't this university kind of, or yeah, so we don't give uh, directly like uh, you know uh, a degree into like you know intelligent system. A school of engineering has a program. Uh, uh, which is like uh, technology and intelligence. Uh, you can opt for that in that case if you want. So, uh, okay. Uh, and what is the possibility of getting it? Like, uh, I'm kind of different field, right? I'm applying for something from computer science now. So, I actually, I've worked on that. Now, right now, I'm working as a software engineer itself, but still, I'm kind of, I don't know uh, the possibility of getting it or. So if you have a relevant work experience, mention that into your statement of purpose. And in a school yeah. of engineering, like you would be admitted because you have the bachelor's background and students from any field apply for this. So you don't have to worry on that ground. Okay. Uh, so it's not, not one, one more thing. Yeah. Engineering. Okay. Is it the same school? uh the yeah. indian university of bloomington right no so this is purdue university degree which you will get it's iupui uh we do have in this a uh, school of engineering and school of science both offer different programs and but the degree would be awarded by purdue university oh, indiana okay. campus okay thank you thank you very much yeah that's all from myself. Thank you. Thank you so much, Chinmay. Uh, I'll move to the next student. I'm going to unmute Molly Dudekula. Uh, Molly, please unmute yourself and ask your question. Molly, please unmute yourself. Yes, ma'am. Uh, good evening, ma'am. Yeah, good evening. I'm, uh, I have a CGPA of 8.1, ma'am. Uh, I pursued uh, computer science from Bangalore and I wanted to do a master's in computer science, ma'am. Mm -hmm. And my GRE is 320 and my LC is 6.5, ma'am. So what is the probability of getting the computer science program? Uh, with the GPA you have, plus you, you have also appeared for GRE and the second thing is your LC is also 6.5. Uh, you have chances of 100% being admitted. Try to submit online application before 15th of March. Ma'am, uh, is the computer science course is STEM or non-STEM, ma'am? It's a STEM program, three years OPT, oh. you get degree from Purdue University, 100% placement assistance. Okay, ma'am. Uh, what is the application fee, ma'am, for the master's? $70. $70. Yes. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Ma'am, uh, can we come with the parent or the sibling like the, during master's? Uh, like you want to uh, bring your parent? Yes, ma'am. Uh, actually, the dependent visa is usually a spouse or a child. Like, you know, you cannot bring your parents or your sibling, but they can definitely come on a visitor's visa. So not on your F1 dependent, but they can come on B1, B2 visitors visa. Okay. Okay. What is the deadline, ma'am? Deadline is of March. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Yes, anyone else? Thank you so much, Molly. Sorry, I was unmute. 
Uh, now I'm going to unmute uh, Rafael Naya. Rafael, please unmute yourself and ask your question. Rafael, please unmute yourself. I'm sorry, good afternoon. My name is Rafael, I'm coming from Nigeria. Um, I studied as my first degree uh, mechanical engineering. I actually want to uh, do MSc in engineering management. I don't know if you offer this course. Yes, so our engineering school do have masters into technology management, engineering management, implementation of engineering. So you can select any one master's program out of this. It's a two years program. Oh, okay, please help. All right. Yeah, it's a two like how much does it cost, please? Cost would be dollar twenty four thousand six hundred per year. Okay. Um, I, I I've worked uh, since I graduated for over ten years in installation engineering, structural uh, engineering. Um, do I need uh, do I need uh, IST? And if I need scholarship, uh, do I need to write a GRE? So GRE is optional, so it's fine if you don't have it, but if you have, that really helps. Uh, scholarship completely depends on your GPA, like you know, your scores in your bachelor's degree or your entire profile. Any project work you have done, any publication, any research publication, any research work, or your work experience, that counts as your entire profile for scholarship. Uh, and uh, uh, but we try to put you into a research project work the first and second year, which contribution fee part in it. Uh, we need a ELT uh, English test. Fine with that. That's if I'm doing if I'm applying for a scholarship, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, just last question. Uh, I would uh, def I would love to come with my uh, dependents. Uh, my wife is not allowed to work, but she can sponsor. Uh, she can uh, volunteer, do volunteer works, right? Yes, she can. All right. That'll be all for me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Rafael. Uh, and now I'm going to take the last question. So the student I'm going to unmute is Pavan Gujlapuri. Pavan, please unmute yourself and ask your question. Uh, hi, this is Pavan. My name is from mechanical department. Pavan, your voice is breaking. Uh, am I audible now? Yes. I have done my undergraduation uh, from mechanical, but I have work experience of two years in IT industry as a software developer. I want to pursue master's in computer science. Uh, sir, please unmute yourself. Uh, Pavan, what's your GPA? Uh, it's 7.46 out of 10. You want to do a master's in computer science or you're okay with masters in data science or data analytics uh, i'm fine with data science as well in terms of getting 100 percent like offer letter i would suggest you to go for masters in data science in the school of informatics with your mechanical engineering background that would be really helpful that will also gain you and fetch you job after completion of your program and it would be easy for you to adapt the entire program. Okay. Uh, are there any other courses like uh, IT, information technology, or information systems? Yes, we do have. So this will come in the School of Science, in Masters in Computer Science, wherein we have cybersecurity, we have data science, we have information system as a specialization called computing. You can select any one out of it. Okay. Uh, and my last question is, is GRE waived off? Yes, it is optional. Yes, it is waived off, yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you.
Thank you so much, Pawan. And uh, with this, we have come to the end of the session. And I would like to thank Priya for taking out time today and doing this wonderful session. And I, I hope that you also enjoyed interacting with the students, Priya. Thank you. Thanks for this session. And all the audience are really wonderful. Yeah, students, we know that there have been a lot of questions that we were not able to take, but do not worry. Your details will be shared with the university representative and your questions that you have posted in the question section will be shared with the university. So you will get answers to your question. Plus, you will also be contacted by the Siksha counseling team who will help you with your application and admission process to IUPUI. So uh, in overall, you will be contacted by Siksha and in case you still want to get in touch with someone from the university, please let the Siksha counseling team know. They will be able to connect you with the university representative. And uh, thank you so much everyone for joining us today and being part of the session. And with this, I now end the session and have a great evening everyone and take care of yourself and be safe. Bye-bye and take care.